I was unfamiliar with the restorative justice program until my son was referred to the program by a police officer. He and his friend were caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing. And uh, he was referred to the program. Uh, that was, it was new to us at that time. I was not, as I said, familiar with it uh, before that. And um, he and I went through the process together. We went to the pre-conference together, and we participated in the process in the circle together. And both of us left just very, very impressed with the process and the whole program. And certainly the most important thing to us was that it kept him out of the, of the whole court system. It was um, a fairly minor infraction, but certainly something that uh, he should not have been doing. And um, he was well, made well aware of the consequences of his actions. And uh, we were just both believers from that point on. One of the things that I appreciated so much about the restorative justice program was uh, its reflection on the community and the fact that it was really, it really showed us, especially those of, you know, we were newcomers to the community, that this is a caring community. That in fact, um, they do care about keeping kids out of the, the court system. And they do care um, what happens to these kids and trying to get them on the right track. Um, getting them to acknowledge and taking responsibility um, and doing something that's not necessarily punitive, but certainly something that's going to teach them uh, a lesson, so to speak, and uh, as I said, the repercussions of what they did. And that extended all the way from the volunteers who are involved um, you know, administratively with the program, uh, to those that are um, you know, community members who give their time, to the police officers who are involved. It's really a, a community endeavor.